lord can we talk about morning battles for a second i know that this is a common struggle and i you know i really apologize for not making this video sooner <laughs> gonna be an ongoing conversation um, because I know that ideally right in an ideal world mornings are a time for reconnection right we've been separated for so long during sleep it's time for reconnection starting our day on the good foot but often that's not the case right oftentimes mornings equal power struggles um, we are trying to rush and get out the door we are trying to do all these little tasks we're trying to help motivate our child to you know do their part to get us out the door and all the while managing our time managing the stress that we inevitably feel during this time crunch um, so we need to talk about that okay I have some really good Q&A we're gonna do some Q&A that I got inside of my private parent coaching community the mom sisterhood so we're gonna do some Q&A um, and I hope this gives you gives you some ideas gives you some encouragement because I know mornings are hard so let's discuss Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I'm Dr. Jasmine. I'm a child psychologist as well as a mom of two little girls, uh, ages three and four at the time of this recording. Um, before we dive into this video, I just want, want to quickly shout out my free two minute quiz that helps you figure out what your unique parenting style is and then practical tips on um, how to see better behavior just based on your unique approach. Okay, let's dive into the video on morning battles. Uh, here's the big, the one of the big ideas I want to lead with uh, as we start this conversation of mornings. Mornings are hard because and I think fundamentally because there is a time crunch right because there is a time limit to how much time we can get these things done you know bedtimes are challenging in their own right right but we don't have you know a deadline of okay I need to get my child you know to bed by seven o'clock or or I'm gonna be late you know it's so much different in the mornings because oftentimes and now you know it's different if your child stays at home with you uh, or you have more of a flexible schedule but I'm more kind of thinking of the parents who uh, have to get to work in the mornings or, and they have to take their kids to school, right? There is a deadline there. There is a, <laughs> a worked in, baked in deadline there, We right? We are, it kind of can feel like we are working against the clock, right? And time is just so limited, right? And that adds to our stress and our anxiety. And here's why I want to lead with that point because it is so important to keep in mind that children absorb our stress right children they don't have a good concept of time <laughs> i'm more speaking toward the younger kids right the toddlers and preschoolers they're all about the here and now they don't have a good concept of time right this is like a perfect storm they don't have the good concept of time they're not interested in the things we're interested in right their motivation is not our motivation right so they're more interested in playing playing with the cat playing with their toys getting distracted right that's commonly what i hear is like oh my god my child is constantly distracted because that's what they're into they don't have a good concept of time and we are generally asking them to do things that they don't find interesting <laughs> Okay, so this is a perfect storm and and the, and the and on top of that we as the parents are often stressed We are overwhelmed. We are sweating through this right and guess what's happening to our kids And I know we know this right they are getting stressed they are they are feeding off of our energy And so it makes them want to dig in their heels a little bit more. That's why they're more likely to dawdle right that's more likely why they're going to push back because one they're absorbing our stress, right? Now they're stressed. And kids do not learn or do well under stress, right? None of us really do. Um, and so that makes it hard on top of the fact that we're constantly asking them to do things that they just don't find interesting. So let, let, let's get into the Q&A and then I'm gonna offer some practical tips, okay? That go beyond, okay, just wake up earlier, <laughs> which, to be to be fair is a really really good tip and will really help you if you can get into that practice of waking up earlier but let's go a little bit beyond that so here's a question that i received inside of the sisterhood uh this mom said my four-year-old has gotten better with tantrums yay love to hear it but one thing we battle is in the morning she has a difficult time getting ready i have made visual schedules i have 
bought an electric toothbrush for her um, but it is initiating the morning routine that has been hard I'm a teacher and I am a work and I'm working from home and I'm also a single parent so I do not have much help I am wondering what I can do to help her with this morning routine she has to get up to go potty wash her face and brush her teeth at nighttime she has a routine of going to bed and that can be hard too um, and these are the times of the biggest meltdowns. Thumbs up this video if you agree, right? That the mornings are often the times for the biggest meltdowns and also maybe bedtime as well. Usually before bed, we do a story, but she will want five stories instead of one. Okay, so now she's this mom is more getting into bedtime <laughs> battles, which I completely understand. But she ends on, you know, it seems like my little one needs more connection from me. Am I on to something or am I off? No, you're completely right, mama. <laughs> Uh, and what I told this mom, your child needs your attention and connection during times of transitions and stress more than ever, right? Think about the morning routine, bedtime routine as well, but let's just focus on the morning right now. Right now, Morning routines involve a lot of transitions, right? First you're going to brush your teeth, then you're washing your face, then you're going potty, then you're getting dressed, then you're eating breakfast, then you're getting your backpack, then you're putting your shoes on, then you're putting your coat on. That's a lot of transitions, right? Even for us as adults, right, getting ready in the morning is a lot, right? There's a lot of little tasks we have to get done. That involves focus, that involves basically executive functioning skills which is right right around here right which does this part of the brain does not fully develop until we are well into our mid-20s right so it involves planning it involves focus and concentration it involves delaying our gratification right and our impulses so that we can get those things done that's a lot of higher order thinking right that even us adults have difficulties with so we really need to manage our expectations when it comes to morning routine we really need to keep our expectations in check okay and we also really need to add in more connection because transitions equal stress connection equals lower stress levels okay so during the morning you have to I feel like this is a non-negotiable if mornings are hard for you my number one thing is gonna be you must add in time for connection right it's not gonna go well if you're doing boom 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 okay bye honey have a good day right and they're melting down you're feeling stressed the way to mitigate all of that is to add in more connection now here's what I would do right and if you haven't watched my bedtime routine I kind of walk you through what works for us so watch that video after this video but here's the the general layout of what I would do and what we do in the mornings and what often works for parents get all the icky stuff done first but before you go to wake them up or you know as you're waking them up slow down okay do not go right into the task first thing in the morning I know it's tempting right and you might be like oh my god but no I only have this amount of time if you're not having enough time I need you to make a little bit more time right even if it's just an extra 10 minutes extra 15 minutes I need you to slow down okay if the way that we start our morning routine is going to set the pace for the rest of the routine so if you're often having battles and meltdowns and struggles in the morning routine I need you to slow down and I need you to add in a bit of connection right when they wake up okay you have to start with connection first okay it doesn't have to take a long time right this could be as simple as sitting with them on their bed rubbing their back hi honey did you have a good rest right <laughs> because it seems so it's so uh, obvious but it's also really easy to forget right because we're like boom 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 boom, boom. we gotta get out the house right this is it. but if we start with all that stress they're gonna clamp up, right? They're gonna clamp up, they're gonna start dawdling, they're gonna start fighting you back on that because they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. This doesn't feel right, right? My nervous system is getting activated now and now I'm really having a hard time. This is overwhelming. Okay, so anyways, going back to what I was saying, you can sit down on their bed, rub their back, right? Oh, how did you sleep, right? Or if they wake you up, do, you know, do some silly dancing, do some, you know, just talk with them about whatever they wanna talk about 
please just make some time for connection whatever that looks like for you hold hands while you guys walk down the stairs or get some music on and start dancing today is gonna be a great day right I need you to set that tone okay and I need you to set it set it right away okay now it doesn't mean it's gonna be foolproof and oh you're gonna have this wonderful amazing smooth bedtime uh, morning time routine okay I'm not saying it's just gonna be the antidote to everything but it's definitely gonna set everybody up for success it's gonna help you get the day going on a positive note and that's gonna help your child okay because again the more stress they feel from us the more they're gonna clamp up and then that's when you get your task done after that after that little bit of connection then it's all right we've got to get ready for school and for this mom what i would recommend and what i recommended for her is to get a visual schedule going right she said you know first she's you know she, there's there's different tasks she's got to get done right she's got to wash her face she's got to brush her teeth blah 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 get a visual calendar going and let her, them pick the order this is so important right children need uh control as much as possible especially the preschoolers okay this is the prime age for power struggles because they are fighting for more of uh, more autonomy and more independence so give it to them <laughs> okay so let them decide you know the order in which they do their things but you know you can set them up for success by giving them a visual uh, um, representation of this of the calendar and then backing off letting you know saying something like okay I'm here if you need me um, let me know if I can help but I trust that you're gonna get this all done I'm thinking more of the three and four year olds right At, by this point they know what they need to do so it's on us to back away we want to slowly back away right because our job as parents is to work ourselves out of jobs so our ch children will not learn right and will um, and actually it goes against their motivation if they feel like they're constantly being bogged down by us right and we're constantly breathing down their throat right hurry up did you brush your teeth get going right stop stop that right now you know if they get distracted you can you know gently say you know okay what's next on our list right uh what comes next all right good job way to go we can be that you know positive a person in their life right to kind of gently move them along but we do also want to move away slowly back away okay that's gonna help with their motivation and this is the most important thing too they need to know that after their all the tasks are done they have something to look forward to whether it's a 10 minute show or a special play time with you which I really recommend uh, right which I know is not always possible or doesn't feel practical but if you could fit in about 10 minutes of one-on-one -on -one play time right before you guys head out the door it's gonna help them stay motivated to get everything done right because knowing and they need to know okay well if we run out of time we're gonna miss this fun play time which would be a huge bummer so they, they need to know that okay they're gonna be working on managing their time and then that's gonna be a huge motivation for them right because kids they just want to play and they want to play with us they want to interact with us especially if they're going to be separated from us all day long right it would really make them you know happy and excited to have some play time so try it try it next time right allow for some more time in your morning schedule lead with connection do the tasks and then have about 10 minutes right before you head out the door and let me know how it goes okay so here's another question that i received we have the same battle every morning my three and a half year old does not want to get ready for daycare he tried to explain we tried to explain we all have our morning jobs right potty brush teeth get dressed i even posted a picture schedule in the bathroom which he thought was fun for two days <laughs> <laughs> I have tried to turn it into a game or leave him alone to tell me when he's ready. Most days he is screaming and stomping around that he doesn't want to get ready. Okay, this is such a great question, right? I like that this is the second question because this mom is saying, okay, I have done the picture schedule. I have tried to back away and give him some more autonomy. But Dr. Jasmine, what gives, right? He doesn't want to get ready in the mornings okay very very good question so my number one thing one if you're noticing that your child is waking up really grumpy and frustrated already there's some things I want to rule out one is he getting enough sleep right if our kids are are one 
to the point where we have to wake them up in the morning, they're probably not getting enough sleep. I don't know if this is the case for this mom. Um, and I don't know if this is the case for you, but I'm just kind of sharing with you my thoughts. Um, so we we ideally want them to be naturally rising and waking up, waking themselves up in the morning. And we want to make sure that they're getting enough sleep, right? Also, I would be ruling out why is he trying to avoid daycare? Is there something going on at school? Is there some underlying anxiety or fears or concerns that maybe he hasn't verbalized to you that's adding to the resistance right why is he resistant to going to school i would bring that up he's three and a half so bring it up share with him what you observe and invite him to share more about his experience as well as you want to also be checking in with the teachers how is he doing at school is he making friends okay is there any any relationship he's having trouble with is he struggling with some aspect of of school is he struggling to learn something you know how is he doing in school I would definitely be wanting to rule that out but also have a conversation with him I wouldn't do it in the mornings when everybody's activated uh, you you know do it after school or right before bed or I don't know find a good time to do it or maybe as you are you know driving off to school and everybody's kind of settled down from all the meltdowns and the hard times have a conversation when when everybody is calm and connected and say hey bud I have noticed that mornings are a struggle for us right I have tried to do the pictures and at first she seemed really excited about it but now eh, not so much I totally understand I've tried also backing away and um, that doesn't really be, seem to be helping overall I just feel like you uh, are struggling in the mornings and and it's been really hard for us and you know I want to help you with that right I want our mornings to go smoother right? I know that it won't be perfect but I at least want us to have a good time together uh, most mornings you know have you noticed this what do you think what what can mommy do that will make this better for you right um, are you waking up tired is there something going on at school now of course you don't want to be like drilling them with questions but these are the things you want to slowly be asking about and maybe it takes a couple conversations to work everything through but you definitely want to enlist your child in what we call collaborative problem solving and that starts with observing what you notice to them without like oh my gosh why i'm learning so hard for you right now. not in that energy but like wow like <laughs> i'm curious here right i want to know more and 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 ultimately i I want to help you with this I don't want mornings don't have to be a struggle for us right so how can I help you right um, what are some ideas you know you our children will really surprise us on some of their ideas on things um, and when they feel like we have taken their idea and we are serious about it right we take them seriously and we honor their perspectives and opinions they're gonna more likely go along with what they what they've picked right and it's gonna just be a win-win for everybody so I really would suggest if you've done all the things right don't forget to have these conversations with your kids and have them on an ongoing basis as well as talk with the teacher right to just rule out is there anything going on at school that you may not have realized because there could be some underlying um, issues that again you just haven't really realized because it hasn't been brought to your attention another quick thing i just want to reiterate right and reinforce in the, <laughs> what i've been saying all video long is i didn't notice the mom uh, say if she was able to add in some connection but again if you're not adding in connection what you doing with your life <laughs> I know, I know, you're like, Dr. Jasmine, that's not practical. Dr. Jasmine, I already am stressed. What do you mean I need to take more time to play when I've already ha I'm against the clock? Well, playtime is important, not only for our kids, but for us, right? We've got to slow down. We've got to stay in the moment. And here's the thing, it's okay if they're late it's okay and listen it's coming from a person who hates to be late i love to be 10 minutes early to everything but the more we can just tell ourselves it's okay if we're late it's most important that i manage my stress i stay in the moment and i connect with my child that's actually gonna speed us up right so it's like it seems counterintuitive but if we can shift our perspective it's often what, what we need. So slow down in the mornings, add as much connection as you possibly can. I know that the mornings are a struggle um, and I just really wanna end with, please don't put time over your relationship. 
I know it's easier said than done. I know that mornings are stressful and hectic and we're just trying to get our day started. We're just trying to get to where we need to get to on time, but it's really important that we manage our stress and we focus on what's most important, which is our relationship with our child. Um, and oftentimes, you know, if we take the time to slow down and connect, explain and guide our children through these things, that that will actually be what we needed to speed things up, right? To get more of their cooperation. So the next time that you feel really stressed in the mornings, I want you to breathe. I want you to take a deep breath and say this with me. It's okay if we're late. We will get to where we need to go to, but right now, I need to slow down. Right now, I need to slow down and regulate myself, right? I must slow down to speed up, okay? Those positive mantras will really help shift your perspective and again, keep yourself calm because they absorb our stress like a sponge and that's what's leading oftentimes to the meltdowns and the power struggles. I hope this video was helpful for you and uh, please let me know what other questions or concerns that you have. I would love to keep this conversation going in more uh, videos. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my uh, bedtime routine video if you're struggling with bedtimes. Uh, I also have so many videos on tantrums and discipline that I think will help you. And don't forget to take my free two minute quiz all on figuring out your unique parenting style and some tips to help you see better behavior just based on your unique approach. Again, it's the mompsychologist.com forward slash quiz. All the links will be in the description as well as the comment section. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>